So when we have to wake up an hour earlier um, because the clock has changed, uh, that first compels us to wake up unnaturally. We use an alarm clock instead of just waking up according to when our body says we're done sleeping. And second, it turns out it's challenging our natural body rhythms in things like metabolism, sleep and wake, mood, and there are real consequences on our health. So for the three days following the switch to daylight saving time, we see an increase in heart attacks, an increase in car accidents, um, more kids are late for school, parents are crankier, and, um, and that lasts for three days in the spring, but it turns out the fall back is associated with sort of a one day improvement in all of those things. So there's really an imbalance. And most importantly, I think, is there's now evidence that during daylight saving time, for the whole time we're in daylight saving time, people get less sleep. And it can be as much as 40 minutes um, and so per day. And so there's really a concern in society now about sort of chronic sleep deprivation. And anything we can do to help people get more sleep is probably going to help us with our health.